Hello world and welcome to the first experiment video of 2021. I hope you're having a nice year. And this episode will be a little experiment video where I see what does the game count or what does the match engine count to be more important, the technicals or the physical attributes. In order to do that, what we have done, we have created two teams or we have renamed two teams, remade two teams, I don't know, two teams in the Vanarama National League South. So those are the teams. So first of all, we have Technical Angels, because as you can guess by the name, what they're going to be, and they're based on the Tormridge Angels. So they're a small side, you know, semi-professional, not particularly the best. The media prediction, prediction was 20th before we kind of took over. And the second team is going to be Physics United. I don't know why. I'm very good with names. And this team is made of, I think, Hungerford Town. There we go. Sorry, I forget the names, but they're also predicted to be 21st. So the plan is to give Physics United and Technical Angels the best stats in their respective things. So Physics United will have the maximum amount of physics for physical attributes, and the Angels are going to have a slightly different. They're going to have all the technicals. Now, we will see. We'll play a few seasons through. We'll see which team actually goes to the top quicker which team kind of levels up. So what, what's more important, you know? They don't have anything, so I'll show you. First of all, let's just put a random player in. They're all perfect. Look at this. So Keith Emerson, a 37-year-old man, he has the best mentals and the best physicals. I did this because to make sure that the player perfectly works his physical attributes. So, you know, I don't want the person to run crazily. I just want him to be able to, you know, make a decision where to run perfectly. Like, he's just a perfect athlete, but he can't play football. That's the plan for Physics United. And I'll show you this weird little, I mean, if I can, I will show you this weird little um, octagon. It's it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, we've all seen a very high technical player, you know, going with less and less speed, but I've never seen something like this. This guy has one in technicals, apparently 13 in attacking, so they're not the worst, both of them. So it's kind of interesting. I want to see how that works. This is hilarious, by the way. And so this is kind of the team. All of them are like this. And let's go to the technical side. On the technical side, we have something similar, but this is a more traditional looking one. We're going to have, let me just click both of them so you can see a perfect little octagon or whatever it is. So yeah, there it is. This is something you, you, you may have kind of seen, you know, when players get old, they kind of, you know, the physicals and the speed goes down, the aerial goes down, and you kind of get to see something like this. Maybe not as much mentals and defending. But yeah, so this is what we're going to have. You know, the technicals are going to be very good at defending, very good at everything, but they can't run. Again, perfect mentals. So the plan is simulate through. They're both leaving in 2040. So the plan is to see in 2040 what, I guess, the both teams can achieve, how far they can go. Can they get promoted? That sort of stuff. And if it does well, I may do just a only mental stuff, maybe, or even better, a perfect technical and physical player but no mentals. I think that's going to be an even crazier experiment, but for now, this is the kind of things we're going to do. If I am to predict, or if you're going to allow me to predict what's going to happen, I honestly believe, because I feel like this year, physicals is much more important than technicals, so I will not be surprised if the physical team does better, but who knows, I could be wrong. Leave in the comments what you think, you know, don't, don't cheat. But you can if you want, but yeah, leave in the comments, say who you think is going to do better over, what is it, over 20 years? And yeah, these players cannot retire until 20. They cannot get worse. Their attributes are frozen. And yeah, I'll see you guys in five years. Okay, and here we are after five years. We're in 2025. And as you can see, back to back to back to back promotions for Physics United. And apparently, could they get promoted as well to the next? No, they couldn't. So they just missed out on promotion. Okay, so... That's what happened. I hope you didn't see much of it. You know, hopefully we can kind of go through this. But yeah, this is how Physics United went. Yeah. So let's see how well, oops, let's see how well the Technical Angels did. Okay, so they did the same, you know, back to back to back to back. But as you can see here, second, 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 and second. So if you put your thinking cap on for a second, and if we just double check the physics stuff, first, 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 first. So this kind of already shows a little pattern that you can kind of guess, which shows the fact that I think the physics team is doing a little bit better. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of go and see how well they did in each league. So this last year, how did they do? Well, Physics United did much better than the technicals, actually. If you take a look, only four losses. Technicals had 11 losses. Um, they have scored much more and they have conceded much less, which is interesting. So maybe the defenders had a lot of time to make mistakes. You know, they make a mistake, they lose a player, they catch up. They make a mistake, they lose a player, they catch up. 
So yeah, interesting. So let's go down a division a bit closer. But again, you can see that physics is much better than the technical guys. Again, they both scored a lot of goals and I'm not surprised because I'm pretty sure their current abilities are huge 150s, if not more. Um, let's jump again. One division down. Oh, quite interesting. 10 points from. No. Okay, that is something cool. That is something that I did not foresee. I think what I may have done is I may have given them a little bit less money to work and their players were on a lot of wages. They had 10 points deducted. <laughs> they still managed to win with 115 points. I love this. It's actually hilarious. And Barney Gavrell again, that makes me sad. But again, another thing you can see that it's not just, it's not a close. They're not fighting for it. No, no, no. Physics United is much better. It's clearly much better. I mean, this is a kind of shady scientific method, really. But at the same time, it's kind of showing, isn't it? And if you go back here, again, nine points. So I guess in the lower division, it didn't matter as much. But damn, they did not lose a single game and they won the league. Wow. So let's take a look at some of their, I guess, best 11. So how do they do in terms of goals? Well, you have James Harding, who scored 139 goals in 180 appearances. And then you have Kyle Tews that scored 110 goals in 145. And then you have Solomon Wanja Smith. Again, not a bad return. So they're playing with a weird 3-5-2, potentially to maximize more defenders at the back. And man, these guys are just going to run up and down. I do wonder if any of them are going to be in a random position, you know, like center back scoring a lot of goals. Let's see. Harding is a striker. Tuz is a winger striker. That's fine. I want to see if there's any crazy Busby or Rusby. Okay. He's a midfielder. Interesting. But yeah, apart from that, nothing crazy. Luke Hopper. Also striker. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, quite a lot of goals, quite a big thing. They're both in Skybet, uh, Skybet Championship. So that's interesting. So let's go to our friends' technicals, our technical angels. And where are they? Oh, by the way, they finished 13th here. Again, 20-point gap on those two. Quite interesting. Let's go see their um, best 11. By the way, I doubt that any of them have won any awards. I won't be surprised. But yeah, as you can see, there's less goals. So that could be something. There's definitely less goals. But I do wonder. Let's pick Joe Turner for randomly. They're not actually doing well in terms of assists. Because I, I would have thought that like... Well, also right back is with a lot of assists. But I would have thought that maybe they'd be getting quite a lot of assists. So if you do go through players... And sadly, I can't put assists here. But, huh. I was actually thinking like maybe... Yeah, you can see here in Skybet League 1, this guy was making a lot of goals, but not many assists. So, as you can see, the technicals are not as important as physicals. But, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go 10 more years into the future and see what happens. Okay, and we return back to Physics United, who find themselves once again in the Skybet Championship. But I do think because they finished second, they managed to get promoted back. And yes, they have. Okay. But as you can see here, in the year we left, they did okay. They kind of stabilized themselves and then they managed to get promoted. Stayed a few good seasons, you know, 8, 15th, 8, 15th, 13th. Quite interesting. I think once again, getting relegated. I do wonder real quick. This is 2035, by the way. I do wonder if they have done some transfers. Have there been some transfers out? I mean, hopefully there hasn't been because they can't. But no, they're making some money. They're selling 149 million. Who is this kid? Oh my god, he went to Barcelona. Oh, this kid's good. Wow. They signed it for quite a good money. Again, it's nice to see that they left their you know, lower leagues behind, but that was to be expected. Have they spent much money? In 28-29, they have spent a lot of money. 59 million. And no sold. Interesting. How did they get the money? Ederson? Is that the Ederson? No, it's a different Ederson. But quite interesting, yeah. So they have an interesting team. Let's see if um, you know Josh Phillips, who is he? Okay, we're getting some of the more interesting players. John Tommy Reese, one hundred and sixteen appearances. Wow. So the keepers I kind of left the same, but this guy has played a lot of games for England. Wow. I actually did not expect that Dan West. Maybe. I want to see if some of the older players managed to get into England at all. Keith Emerson? No. Okay, interesting. I mean, he has five more years to go in his contract. Rosby hasn't appeared for England. Mike Jones hasn't appeared for England. I do notice, by the way, your bravery goes down even if you freeze the attributes. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, with injuries, though. So, Angel, 
none. Seeger, none. Surprisingly, I mean, to be fair, it makes sense. It honestly makes sense. And this guy, who's this guy? And why is he... He lost his physicals. I forgot to freeze him. I think I forgot to freeze him. He hasn't played in a while. That's fine. Have Are any of the players playing much? James Rusby. Yeah, okay. Some players are playing. Interesting. But some players aren't. And I feel like that's my problem. I did forget to freeze some players. But in terms of how technicals are doing... No way. Did they manage to stay up this year, actually? Let's go up to the Premier League. Hey, the technicals have managed to stay up. And I think... They have taken a slightly different path, but they actually managed to stay up this year, 17th and 16th. So as you can see, they don't reach the same heights as the physicals. And yeah, huh. Let's see if their goalkeeper represents England. No, he doesn't. So it's not as good. But yeah, it's pretty much straight to see that like you can you can see that the levels are not the same. Technicals are much worse than physicals. Again, not too bad. Alex Akfioli. It's not doing too bad. Quite slow. Hasn't actually played in the Premier League. Interesting. I wonder if a lot of these players don't actually play. Ooh, I do find that quite peculiar. What about the keeper? Okay, so the keeper plays. James Folks Plays. Arthur Lee. Played a few games. Okay. Okay, so I can see from the technical side, many of these players actually don't play. And let's again drop back to... Physicals people. Physicals people. Yeah, no, he played. Bailey played. Keith Emerson plays on games. Partridge plays. Okay, so I can see, again, another proof that physicals are more important. Okay, that's quite interesting. So, again, remember this kind of stuff because we will be doing another video with the player who's got the best technicals and the best physicals. And then we'll find out how important mentals are. But let's finally jump into 2040, see how all these players do. And yeah, let's see what happens if we can finally put the final nail in the coffin between what's better, physicals or technicals. Okay, so we once again start with Physics United being relegated and they have become pretty much a yo-yo club, as you can see here, pretty much every other year, going up, going down, going up, going down. But that makes sense. I honestly think that makes sense. You know, I wonder if you look at their team, if you look at their team, a lot of these players... Okay, no, a lot of these players are playing... So we have some random players playing in here. Yeah, some some um, Fosu Mensa, Sharini. So they're not they don't just have they don't just focus on their physicals, but again, it probably is very hard for a Physics United to have a good team because they, they're not technically well. They can run, but they need some players to link up the play. So that's gonna be that's kind of fair enough. They're in the Skybet Championship. Are they gonna manage to get promoted this year or are they gonna be stuck here forever? No, so they haven't. So maybe in the future they could do a bit better. In terms of goals, Harding has got one of the better average ratings, which is quite interesting. Where are technicals? Where are the technical angels? And once again, I th are they going to keep alternating like that between the two of them? Where are the technical angels? Oh my god, they were very close to actually getting into Europe. Whoa! What happened there? I mean, it could be the fact that they're not actually playing many... Yeah, there we go. They're playing much less... You know, much less of their technical people, mostly in kind of supporting functions. The goalkeeper's there, Arthur Lee's there. Any of them represented England? No, none of them. None of them. Cal de Costa, really? At least some of them should have had some games. I mean, it's not bad performances if you take a look at here. Look at that. Very, very high performances. So it's quite strange to see many of them not in the in I guess in the English team. But yeah, so let's just quickly Take a look. So it looks like the Technical Angels may have won it in the end. That is quite interesting, that. Let's take a look at their yo-yo things. They're be they became much less of a yo-yo team. But again, this, this is less of a function of the actual technical abilities, but the fact that they actually bought new players to replace, and then they managed to use the genius of Gerard Delofeo. Okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah, so they managed to do that. They managed to get some players in, in the midfield. So those technical guys can actually pass to someone who runs and who scores. That's kind of cool. But yeah, let's just quickly see best 11. A lot of these players probably haven't played much. Yeah, yeah, as you can see here, the goals are lacking. You know, a lot of these players are not going to be here. And that's fair enough. That's fair enough. So again, I think it probably is up to you. In my mind, I think... 
because Physics United mainly relies, if you look at their squad, mainly relies on their players. So it's a pure, this is a pure, I think the first few years were definitely a pure rating of what's more important in this game. And yeah, in my mind, I still think Physics United have won, even though in the last few years they have been yo-yoing a bit more than Technicals United. But still, that is quite cool. This is a quite cool experiment. Next up, I will do an experiment where I will do the Technicals, high Technicals, high Physicals, and that's just going to be insane. But again, let's finally take a look at comparing the two players. Let's pick a random player, Tommy Reese, and let's see if we can find, you know, a player... I don't know who from technical so you can see the weird octagon so yeah this is the octagon i don't know i i like i like the technical one more because it just looks nicer looks like they've done better they look like better players but looks like in my opinion physicals are much better but anyways whatever your opinion is write in the comments tell me if you wanted me to do more stuff next video will be definitely the player with 20 in every single technical 20 in every single physical and one in all the mentals we'll see if that's going to make a difference let's see if uh, players become more yo-yo-y and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys enjoyed this first experiment video of 2021 it's weird to say 2021 but here we go and yeah i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys <laughs>